hello my bright students. It is your guest, Iron Man. That's right, guys. Some of you maybe know who I am. I hope so. And if you do, you know that I have unbelievable abilities. That's right, guys. I've got superhuman strength, speed, durability, agility, reflexes, senses, okay? I can't be stopped. And if you guys don't wanna be stopped, you gotta put in the time and do your PE videos. That's right, guys, okay? You don't get these Iron Man qualities without putting in the time and the effort. So you gotta keep working for it. That's right, guys. I am so glad I was able to be here and give you this message today, but I have another mission to be on. So you need to complete your mission and get the job done today. Thanks, guys. Iron Man is out. All right, guys, Iron Man here with your joke of the day. Yeah, I just uh, ended up winning the local Iron Man competition. It was, it was spectacular, yeah. 41 shirts in 30 minutes, ironed all of them. It was awesome. <laughs> your superhero trivia of the day. Uh, when Iron Man is not suited up and getting after it, what name does he operate under? Tony Stark. That's right, guys. Tony Stark. Hey there, guys. I hope you enjoyed, uh, you know, visiting with Iron Man a minute ago. Um, I'm going to be your host the rest of the day, Tony Stark, okay? Uh, not to be confused uh, with Mr. Jark, okay? I know uh, we look similar. Okay, and you know him well, uh, but uh, yeah, Tony Stark here to uh, get us warmed up and get us going with our uh, activity today, okay? So let's get uh, going here, jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. And wide stance, and here, squats. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nicely done. Let's keep that wide stance and air punches here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Okay, let's go side to side jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nicely done. Okay, let's go big arm swings. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward, backward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. All right, now let's go legs wide. Let's go down to the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feet together and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right leg back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left leg back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys. Good job. All right, guys. I got an iron mission for you, and let's get it done. Okay guys, we're going to continue our throwing and catching uh, activities today. The first game we're going to play is called Around the World. Some of you know that as a basketball uh, shooting game, okay, um, which it is, okay, but this is kind of stealing the idea of that for a throwing accuracy game, okay. So we have a milk jug set up as our target, okay. You can use anything uh, as a target uh, that's, you know, that's not breakable. Uh, a milk jug, a, a water bottle, a toy of some kind, okay? And if you want to elevate it, you can, or you can leave it on the ground, okay? Choose the space where you're going to do this. If you have to shrink this down into a small space, 
You absolutely can, whatever works for you, okay guys? Um, and any kind of throwing uh, object, softer ball, uh, socks, uh, if you had to crumple up a piece of paper, okay? If you're playing in a smaller space, um, socks or a piece of paper would be great because uh, it wouldn't be, uh, it'd be nice and, and kind of gentle for a smaller space, okay? So, um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have six throwing uh, locations, okay? I have cones, you guys could use uh, shoes, paper, anything to mark a spot so you know where to go to throw, okay? And what we're gonna do, guys, is set it up in a uh, half circle here, so we have um, one kind of off to the side, slightly diagonal, okay? Um, that is, of course, the closest throw, okay? And then our next one is um, here, okay? Our first one is back here, next one is here, and third throw is here, fourth throw is here, fifth throw is here. Once we have uh, gotten all the way around those five spots, our final throw to complete the game and complete the course is about five feet back from the center one here, okay? So it's gonna be uh, by far your farthest throw, okay, to try to complete the game, okay? Uh, in this game, we'll all start on the left side, okay? Uh, hopefully you're getting your set up right now because we're about to start and you're about to race against me, okay? And so um, we are going to start on the, uh, our left because we're facing the target, okay? And we are going to go, and you don't get to move to the next spot unless you hit your target, okay? Uh, if you hit your target, of course, you gotta set it back up, and then you move to the next uh, throwing position, okay? Everybody understand? I hope so. I hope you're all set up. Give you about 10 more seconds here to get set up, and we are gonna start our first round, and you are going to compete against me, okay? This is our throwing around the world. Here we go. Here it is, guys. Oh boy. This one, the ball's gonna come back, which is nice. Ah. Here we go. There we go. Finally got it, guys. Hopefully, you beat me. If not, keep working until you complete it. Okay? The rest of you, grab some water. Okay? And we will get on to the next drill for the day. Nicely done. All right, guys, for this next uh, catching activity, okay, you're gonna need 
a few things, okay? A hat, okay? Certainly doesn't need to be a cowboy hat, but that's kind of what I had available, okay? Uh, so that hat, um, two water bottles, okay? Uh, empty water bottles, plastic, okay? Um, something not breakable, something empty, something fairly light, okay? And a ball would be fabulous, okay? So uh, first drill is we are gonna start with one of those bottles, okay? So hopefully you have found one of those by now, okay? If not, of course, you can always pause it and go grab what you need, okay? Uh, so we're gonna start very simple, okay? Uh, some bottle flip catching, okay? So we are going to uh, hold that thing, hold it with the lid out, okay? And we are gonna just try to have it uh, turn right there, point back at us, okay? Now pointing out. All right, so this is just a, a half turn, okay? Get to that other half of that bottle. Whichever dominant hand uh, for you, most of us it's right. You lefties probably want your left. Good. Nice. Now, we're going to try to do a full flip so that lid should end up facing the same uh, spot that it did when you threw it, okay? Here we go, you, uh, it might take a little practice to get it perfect. Oop. There it is, okay? One full flip, and that lid returns to its starting position. I'm going with kind of a slower, higher flip, which for me seems to work. Seems to work okay. Hopefully you're having good luck with whichever bottle you've chosen. If not, you can always try a different one. Very good, okay. Now let's try to uh, go beyond one full flip, okay. It might be hard to pin it at, uh, you know, a certain number, but let's, uh, let's try going more flips. Here we go. Woo. See there, the lid ended up facing at me. Um, so it might have been a one and a half, I'm not sure. Nice and high, we're getting, mine's getting about a foot above my head. Woo. Gotta have soft hands to make that catch. Wanna have your eyes on it. Pick it up. Let's go. Uh, two bottles, if they're identical, that'd be great. Probably it'd be uh, feel a little bit more natural. Okay. Uh, let's put the lids facing out, and let's just try to do two at a time, half flips. Oop. That lid's only changing. Pointing out to pointing back. Good job. All right, now let's try to do full flips. So lids are out and uh, hopefully they end up landing out again. This is gonna be a lot more difficult here, I think. Here we go. Woo, got it. Struggling, that's okay. This is not an easy one here. Our eyes are trying to focus on both. I think as uh, much as you can throw them identical is obviously going to help you. And keeping them close together and not way out here so your eyes can see both. Uh, pick up the, the turns, okay? Let's send them up a little bit higher and see if we can get to uh, make the catch. Ah. Ah. 
a couple more. Ah! Trying not to use my body, trying to have my hands do most of the work. All right, okay, let's put those bottles down and let's move on to our ball or your sock or paper, or whatever you had, and your hat, okay? So let's go uh, <clears throat> ball in your throwing hand and let's put that hat, okay? A lot of us will just be a normal baseball hat, okay? And let's uh, get ready to toss it up above, above our head and come here and try to make that catch in the hat. Here we go. Ready? Good. It's always good to absorb the, the drop by lowering the hat or the glove or the scoop, whatever uh, deal you're using to make the catch. Job right in that hat. Very good. All right, now let's switch. Let's try to move that uh, hat to our opposite hand and let's throw with our. Um, non-dominant arm. There we go. Nice. You hold it real firm, okay? There's a better chance that that ball can bounce out of whatever you're using to make the catch. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, guys. Nice job today. Um, I am going to put up the five minute timer, and you can do five minutes of additional practice. Okay, that around the world would be a great one to do more of. It would be great to uh, do that with other people. Um, you could, with that around the world, you could time how long it takes you, and then the other person could go, or uh, you could go at the same time and start on opposite sides, okay? And if somebody hits it, then you gotta delay your throw, which adds to kind of the fun, okay? But uh, start on opposite sides and try to race to be the first one to make that longest throw, okay? Um, so, um, or you can continue with our bottles and our hat catching, okay? Um, but anyways, stay at it for five more minutes, guys. Great job.
Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Uh, it was unbelievable to be your guest here today. And uh, Iron Man out.